John Moorhead. I'm a missionary scholar and the director of the Western Institute for Intercultural Studies. Today with my colleague Ken Mulholland, the president of WIS, we're going to introduce this ministry to you. My name is Ken Mulholland and I'm the president of WIS. I first uh, became interested in what has become the Western Institute, WIS, uh, through my work as the founding president of Salt Lake Theological Seminary. During those years, my focus was always coming back to really how do we effectively carry the gospel uh, to LDS people who are seeking a relationship with Jesus Christ in the biblical understanding of the gospel. As I moved on from the phase of my life with the seminary, the natural outgrowth of that was WIS, where John Moorhead and myself began to really focus exclusively on bringing the gospel not only to LDS people, but to people in other religious faiths who are struggling to find a relationship with God through Jesus Christ, but they really don't quite know how to do it. America is a land of changing religious diversity. In the past, uh, in a previous generation, an uh, interfaith encounter or a multi-faith encounter for a Christian involved a Baptist or Presbyterian talking to a Methodist or Congregationalist. Today, things are radically different. Today, Christians have neighbors, friends, co-workers, even family members who are Buddhists, Mormons, Muslims, even atheists. Now, the response of Christians to this is very different. Many Christians tend to ignore it. Some engage in simply a form of proclamation without real engagement, trying to communicate the gospel in ways in which they understand. Another popular response of Christians is confrontational and defensive. We tend to engage in apologetic denunciations of those cherished beliefs and practices that many of these religious adherents find so dear. At the Western Institute, we believe that there's a better and more promising way forward. WIS was created to meet this challenge. Christians are called to both share the gospel effectively in this context and to live effectively as disciples in the midst of religious diversity. In order to accomplish these tasks, WIS has created an educational program that involves multiple resources to equip you to be more effective in sharing your faith and living amongst diverse religious adherents. WIS's activities fall into three main areas. Production of multimedia resources, education and training, and scholarly research. Let's talk about the first of these, the production of multimedia resources. Thus far, WIS has focused on resources to equip Christians to relate to Mormonism. There are three resources in this area. The first is called Bridges. Bridges was designed to help biblical Christians understand the culture of Mormonism and to be able to effectively share the good news of Jesus Christ and the gospel of grace. Prior to this, the primary model for evangelism for Christians toward Mormons was one of confrontation and argument. When Bridges came out, it was received with open arms by Christians, many of whom have felt inadequate to do evangelism because they were not debaters, nor did they feel comfortable in being debaters. But they did feel comfortable in sharing their faith and their story and their relationship with Jesus Christ with their Mormon friends and neighbors. Over 65,000 Christians have used bridges to share their faith with their Mormon friends and neighbors. The second resource is Grounded. This was designed for junior and high school students with a twofold purpose, to ground Christian students in their faith and their understanding of Jesus Christ, and then to make them more effective in sharing their faith with their Mormon friends. The third resource and the most recent is Transitions. Transitions was designed to help those thousands of people who've made the decision each year to leave the Mormon church and who still have an interest in traditional Christianity. Transitions helps them deal with the various emotional and personal and family struggles, as well as their grappling with the doctrinal and worldview issues involved in the immigration out of Mormonism and into traditional Christianity. WIS uh, has thus far focused on Mormonism in the production of resources, but in the future we will expand this and focus on other religious groups such as Islam and the New Age movement. The second component of WIS's activities is education and training. 
This involves the use, for example, of our bridges material, where our staff goes into a local church or a college or a Christian university or seminary and equips Christians to understand the culture of Mormonism and how to be more effective in evangelism. As I said previously, we'll be expanding this education and training to encompass other religious movements. We even have plans in the near future to develop a training center, which will train Christian leaders and pastors, seminary students, and average lay people so that they can be effective in sharing and communicating the gospel of Jesus Christ with religious adherents and living effectively as disciples in a multi-faith context. Our third area of ministry activity for WIS is scholarly research. One of the venues for the distribution of this is Sacred Tribes Journal. Sacred Tribes is a free online journal that does academic research in a variety of facets of religion, including new religious movements and world religions. Sacred Tribes has been well received not only by Christians, but even by people in non-Christian religious traditions who find it a fair and accurate and interesting exploration of the diversity of religion in America today. I'm excited about what we do. This is one of the most transformative ministries in the United States, and it is on the cutting edge facing the changes in American culture. WIS is one of the leading educational and missions ministries in the United States. We've done exciting and unique things in the area of new religions and world religions in America and beyond, but we can do much more. We need your partnership and your investment to do more things. I'd like to invite you to invest in this ministry. We need prayer support. We need people praying for our staff and volunteers every day and we especially need your financial support. Whether you decide to sit down and write a check or use your credit card or PayPal, whatever method is most convenient to you, I invite your investment as a strategic partner in ministry with the Western Institute for Intercultural Studies.